everybody. I hope everyone is doing well today. So uh, uh, today is the last day of class, so I would like to dive right in into our course schedule here and go over what I will be doing for our last class day. Now what I will be doing today is returning portfolios to you, to you all with your grades. I will be emailing you all very shortly about your grades. Now what I'm going to talk about today is looking ahead to composition two. Also, um, I will be sharing a link with you all, and it will be a course survey to collect student feedback. And what that does is that it allows me to collect student feedback without knowing who, you know, it's totally anonymous, so I won't know who says what. So it's just a helpful way for me to collect feedback. And I'm always looking to improve my future courses. So if you would please take five or 10 minutes to fully complete the survey, I would really highly appreciate it. I will probably be sending the link uh, in my email today as well, along with today's lesson. But uh, without further ado, I would just like to go ahead and go over today's lesson, which you can find under the lessons tab on Blackboard. And it is looking ahead to COM2 and the course surveys. Now this just gives you a brief outline. Uh, it probably won't take very, me very long to go over this lesson. But I at least want to prepare you all for what Composition 2 is going to be like. So what is Composition 2 about? So this is the course survey link. So this survey is to collect student feedback and for instructor use of how I can improve my future courses. So um, I will show you all what it looks like. But the last few questions can be answered with a few sentences. Please take your time to fully complete the survey and thank you. So this is what the survey looks like. And it's basically some, the first 10 questions or so are using a scale of one to five, one being almost always, two being often, three being sometimes, two being seldom, and one being hardly ever. Uh, the, now the last few four questions, I believe, yeah, the last few four questions can be answered with a few sentences. So please take your time to fully answer the questions as best and as honestly as you can. I always appreciate constructive criticism. I'm always open to it. So please let me know what I can do in my future online courses, especially during COVID, what I can do better for you all as the instructor. Um, anyway, that was really all I wanted to say about that, but. So these are the student learning outcomes for COMP2. So COMP2 focuses more a, a lot more on research writing. So the student learning outcomes is writing an argumentative research paper, producing coherent papers within common college level forms, demonstrating the ability to revise, and improve such texts and comparing and contrasting multiple viewpoints, which is what we did within the CTA. Um, researching a topic, developing an argument, and organizing supporting details. Now, the new um, thing that New York did add in is developing profession proficiency in oral discourse, such as an in-class speech or oral presentation. And then you also uh, have to respond analytically to an assigned speech or oral presentation. So this is the topic outline for COP2, thesis support and organization, the process of editing and revising, which is something that you've already learned in COP1, uh, critical reading and analysis of student and published essays, that's something else that we've already been doing, argument development, now the oral presentation is a new part of COM2. That is something that New York State, New York State actually decided to put in there as the, um, it follows, uh, it follows New York State curriculum and the common core of New York State also. So those are uh, common core educational goals. That's why they put in the oral presentation component within COM2. Now, another thing that you will have to do is a critical analysis of published speeches, and you go further in depth into library orientation and research within COMP2. So it, we had an introductory workshop within COMP1 of how to use the library. 
but I probably will also be doing more online workshops in terms of how to use the library and also how to locate sources. So like I said, location and evaluation of sources for use in academic writing, the use of MLA format in writing and organizing information, and research writing becomes the main focus. So these are the required assignments for Comp 2. So you have four major papers, an analysis of an assigned speech, an oral presentation, online discussion boards, and reflection pieces. So then you are also introduced to the research process, which is choosing the topic, researching the topic, making an outline, organizing the notes, the writing, and then the editing, the proofreading, and the publishing. So why Comp 1 and why Comp 2? So Comp 1 focuses more on introductory elements of writing an essay, such as different genres like writing a narrative, rhetorical analysis, and a compare and contrast paper. Now Comp 2 specializes and focuses more on research writing and uh, also research writing intro elements such as how to find sources, how to evaluate them, forming a thesis statement, writing an annotated bibliography, which is probably something that I would say students struggle with the most at first. So that's why I am thinking about doing more library workshops next semester with my Comp 2 sections, discussing a controversial issue, and then writing the final research paper. Now, the good news in all of this is that in many students, I find many students enjoy this. Um, in Comp 2, you get to choose the topic of what you wish to write about during the course of the semester and during the research process. So in other words, you get to choose what you want to write about for 15 weeks over the course of four assignments. Um, anyway, that is it. Thank you all for a great semester. Have an amazing winter break. It has been an absolute honor teaching you all. I have had a wonderful bunch of students this semester. Um, I hope you all take care. Please stay safe and please stay healthy, especially during these holiday times. Please take care of yourselves. Um, I hope to see some of you all next semester. It has been lovely getting to know all of you as students. And please stay safe out there. Uh, like I said, I will be getting back to you all shortly about portfolios and also final grades will be turned in next week. So I won't know your final grade until next week, but I will be able to get back to you all about portfolios today. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you.